Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my finale to the Day of the Dead project pan. This is a fantastic ladies collab that was created by Jen and Kim, and I do have them linked down below. This project started last year on November 2nd. It's supposed to end on November 1st. However, I am filming my intro a couple of days early, and I am happy to say that this project is coming back for another round. So if you didn't participate this round and want to participate in the next round, hop on over to the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. I do have them linked down below, and you can sign up for this project and see all of the prompts. So I will be back on November 2nd to have my intro to the next round of this project project. As of the last update, I was working on seven products. I had rolled in all the rest of the prompts because I wanted to work on all of them before the finale of this project. So let's get started with my progress. The first prompt was 12A, rich families have servants guarding family possessions displayed at the altars, so your most expensive item. I looked at my inventory and went to my lip products category, and I found this expensive product from By Terry. This is the Balm de Rose lip scrub, and my goal was to finish this. As of the last update, I had used it 44 times in this project. Over the past month, I used it 19 and it is gone. It was to here when I rolled it into the project. So from here to the bottom is 63 uses. It was in another project for all of this progress. I don't know how many uses I had on that one or on this product before in the other project. So 63 uses in here and this is a goal met. I had already finished 12B, so this prompt is completely finished. The next prompt I was working on was 1B, pain, suffering, grief, and mourning, an item that gives you grief. For that, I rolled in my Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. This gives a lot of people grief in that this top usually breaks off before they've even finished using the product and then they have to just throw it away. So I put it in here with a goal to finish. As of the last update, I had used it nine times. I used it three more times and this is completely gone. You can hear a little bit in there, but none of that product will come out. So that is a total of 12 uses. I keep looking at my uses here because I put the number wrong. It's 12 uses. I wrote down 10. I don't know why. <laughs> so this one is finished. That was 1B. I had already finished 1A, so prompt number one is done as well. The next prompt that I was working on is 10A. It says candy, a sweet scented product or something that is candy themed. For that, I rolled in my Kathleen & Co nail polish in the shade Fun Dip. I remember eating Fun Dip as a kid. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to eat. Made a mess, but it was, it was a fun treat to have. I put this in here for a two-use goal, and I have used it both times. I do have it on my nails today. I have it on my toenails as well. It is beautiful. It is such a pretty color. I sat down to film and realized how chipped my nails were. <laughs> I did not realize that prior to filming. However, I've got my two uses on this, so this is a goal met, and I've already hit my goal on 10B, so 10 is another prompt finished. And then I rolled in the final two prompts, 19 and 20, and of course there is a part A and a part B to each one of these prompts, so let's go over those four products. 19A says spirits of the children. Spirits of the children are reunited with their families for 24 hours, a product that reminds you of your childhood. I decided to roll in a lipstick. This is the collab between Glamlight and Scooby-Doo. This is the spring lipstick in the shade Velma. You can see her right there. I put this in here for a five use goal and I have used it all five times. This is kind of an orangey leaning neutral shade. It is so pretty. I loved wearing this and this is the perfect time of year to wear it. Look at that beautiful fall color. Five uses, and this can be put back into my collection. For 19B, it says spirits of the adults. Night is filled with laughter and fun memories, so a nighttime product. I rolled in a product from Clinique. This is the Clinique Smart Night Custom Repair Moisturizer. This was brand new, and I put it in here with the goal to finish. I used it 15 times, and as you can see, that is now an empty. This was a really nice product. I really enjoyed it. This is one of the samples that Deb got for me at the CCO when she came to visit me back in July. I really enjoyed this product. So that is another goal met. So I have finished off 19A and 19B, so prompt number 19 is finished as well. And that brings me to number 20 for 20A. Spirits of the Dead, people come together in their cities, a product that reminds you or represents your hometown. 
I chose the collab between ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christy. This is the creme gel liner in the shade Woodsy. I mentioned that I consider Richmond, Virginia home. That's where I went to middle school and high school and they have tons of trees and woods everywhere. It is beautiful. I rolled this in for a 10 use goal and I was able to use it all 10 times. It was not a problem to use at all. This is such a pretty color and I'm able to use it with my Pan That palette, the neutral one, the Glam Chocolate Donut. The two of them work together really well. This is a swatch of it right here. So this will be going back into my collection because I have met that goal as well. And then for 20B, Sugar Skulls with the name of the departed on it, a product that represents the meaning of your name. If you did not see the last update to this video, I will mark it right up here or put it right up here. You can click on it to go watch it. I explained what my last name Hussy meant. But for that, I did roll in a lipstick. This is what I made at what was formerly known as the Bite Lip Lab in Las Vegas. And I made this shade called Brazen Hussy. You can see right there. And it is what I am wearing on my lips today. I put this in here for a five use goal and I have used it all five times. So I have hit this goal as well. Even though I'm wearing it on my lips, I will give you a swatch of it. Look at what a beautiful cool toned red that is. It is stunning. I think too many of the lipsticks that I get that are red lean more warm tone and I wanted a cooler one, which is why I created this color. It is so pretty. So I have hit my goal on 19 A and B. So this, or sorry, 20 A and 20 B. So this is another goal met. I have hit my goal on all seven other products that I had in here, which is another reason why I am filming this early. I didn't see the point in waiting to film it and put it up on my channel when I didn't have any other products to work on and I have hit all of my goals. So I have worked on 20 prompts, which is 40 products because there is, again, a part A and a part B. A lot of times I had usage goals on these products and I did have several with the goal to finish. So of all of the items that I have finished up in this project, I have totaled it together and I finished off $172.18 worth of products in this project. So that was quite successful for me. I'm really happy that I joined this project and I'm excited about doing the next round as well. That is everything that I have for you. Like I said, I do have the intro to the next round coming up. I have Nightmare on Panning Street finale coming up as well as the intro to the next round. And of course on the first will be my update to my Pan That palette. So if you don't wanna miss any of those videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.